Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about uh, the habit of saving money. It's good and bad. I just wanted to share my views. Uh, something that I've been doing wrong most of my life, uh, I wanted to share with you, is that saving is a good habit, but it can it should only be done in order to when you're wanting to, uh, let's say you want to buy a house, right? So you're saving money for a certain point of time and then uh, then you save your deposit and you buy the property. That's a good habit, right? So you, you shouldn't uh, spend beyond your means and all that. But on the other side, I see a lot of people just trying to save every penny from everywhere and the mind and energy is so much consumed in saving money, saving money, saving money all the time that they can't see the big picture. They get blindfolded because the whole uh, focus or the energy that they spend throughout the days, whether they're going on, you know, sh like, um, you know, small, small shoppings, like everyday shopping. Of course, you need to be smart with how you spend your money. But at the same time, you can't be just overly focused or spend too much time in saving maybe three dollars or five dollars that you're wasting one hour or two hours doing all that i see people doing that so that's why i wanted to discuss that in detail so what i'm trying to say is our focus should uh, you spend money wisely but at the same time your focus should be on increasing your wealth or sharing good memories with your family making good memories with your family spend some more time rather than you know saving ten dollars somewhere if you are already time poor and you're trying to save that extra ten dollars but which is costing you maybe one hour to of your family time that's not a good thing so you need to focus on the bigger picture bigger picture means you go to professionals when you want to buy properties or you want to do something, you know, even if you want to go travel rather than spending three days to find the best tour packages, why not go to a travel company which you like or which you think is very good? Go to a trusted uh, party and then talk to them about your requirements and let them find uh, you some good options rather than you spending your valuable time which you already are, you know, uh, have very less of. So you should rather use that time to either do money making activities either you have a second job or you're doing a side hustle use a side business or something like that or you're just spending time with your family or you're doing your gardening or hobbies or whatever so focus on the bigger things how can you where can you be in the next 10 years or in the next 15 years do you want to get rich by just saving every penny from everywhere I can definitely tell you that you can't get rich by saving money or you can't get wealthy by saving uh, saving just money. It's a good habit, but at the same time, you need to learn about investing, how your money can work for you. How can you increase your income? Those are the things that you need to focus on. How can you, uh, you know, enjoy more time with your family or your hobbies that are going to give you more fulfillment or more uh, wealth in the long, in the wrong, sorry, in the long run rather than just you know uh just running after every every single dollar here and there so i hope i was able to drive the point home uh all i'm trying to say is don't be uh, how do they say it like you know penny smart but dollar foolish you save 10 cents or you know 10 dollars from one place but you lose because you didn't do the research, because you didn't uh, go to a proper person or a professional person, you lost out on maybe, you know, $10,000. That's something that you not want to do and you cannot afford to do that. So focus on the things that will take you ahead by leaps and bounds, not by $10, $20. So that's why, you know, I sometimes I joke around with my friends. You know, if it's not, if our conversation is not worth at least $10,000, don't even talk to me about all those things, okay? So, again, it's very subjective, but that's the way you should be thinking, okay? Think on the bigger uh, priorities in your life. And, you know, uh, there's different stages of life. There are stages where you really need to save money because you're starting out, you know, you you just you just have to have some uh, money saved for you know doing things like education or whatever. But after you have some established, uh, you know, you have established yourself, you're a bit more stable. Then you should definitely look at ways where your money comes from. Your money, you you invest money, and the money makes money. Or you're getting rental income, you know, or you're spending time. Uh, 
uh, spending more time with your family and all that. So that's all for now. I hope uh, this video will make sense to you guys. And until next time, uh, you have a good one uh, and enjoy, enjoy as much as you can. Thank you.